<laughs> you think the audience would give me a mental health day? Audience, y'all let us know if we can get a mental health week. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. Let, let us know what we have to do to get a mental health week. Let him know what he got to do. <laughs> Pause. All right. What do you Wait, mean? No, I just, I just want to. Wait, just, no, 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 no. Stop. How is that pause? Right. Because you like, let them know. Let me know. What you want them to do. So you say you open for anything. Oh Bro. God. This man is the <laughs> ultimate this reacher. Nigga, yeah, reach he, for that what? was reach a reach. reach. <laughs> oh, my Look God. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but um, I just want you to like actually give somebody their flowers. I think you should give this person their flowers because of what they do for you. <laughs> who you know who the person is? What? Me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is why I tell you, bro. Because I, you know, it, it picked back up when we were in New York because we did a lot of network in New York and stuff like that. So I don't, I never realized how rude Mike is. <laughs> like, dog, he is so rude, bro. I can't explain it. And then he always gets mad at me because I might over talk to the person, but he doesn't realize I'm like doing some damage control. Because we'll be networking with somebody, and uh, when Mike's not interested in something, like it just shows on his face. Dude, be like, <laughs> "Yeah, like we networking with people, and it's like this person has this brand, this person has this podcast network. They talking, you know, they talking about like, oh, we should work together, blah blah." And Mike, real interested, you know, talking about numbers and stuff like that. As soon as dude come over, like, "Hey man, how y'all doing?" We like, "Yeah man, what you do?" He like, "I do construction, Mike." Be like, <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> no, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be getting the stone cold face. I be, I be like, damn, how, no. how, how long you been doing construction? And you just be like, and I just see Mike walk away and be like, all right, bro. <laughs> he literally come and shake dude's hand. I be bro, like, now I got to talk here that, longer and shit. That's bro, not you, even true. I don't care what anybody does, to be honest. Like, I'm not saying I don't care. I like, think every everything that somebody does is cool, right? Whatever you do, that's cool. This man, Pat, talks like he's a, like the president of the United States. Like, he has to have a deep <laughs> conversation. It'd be like, oh, somebody asked a question to Pat, and Pat be like, oh, what do you do? And then you say, whatever, it's a construction worker. Oh, what division of the construction do you work in? Because mm-hmm. my uncle and this and that, I'm like, bro, stop. Like, why, why do you want to know where niggas wh- rank at? You know what I'm <laughs> why must this conversation go any further? But that's but that's real shit. Just want to be friendly. I want to know what type nah, of past person. too friendly. Like, but no, I just I just want to know if they a bitch or not half the time. Because sometimes when I talk to dudes, bro, they be like, man, I've been working at this company, and then you hear about their journey, and then they you ever seen a dude complain about some shit? Yeah. But you know, my parents weren't really fucking with me like that, so I had to start blah blah blah. I'm like, hold on, was that an excuse, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Already? I just met you. You already got excuses. I hate people when you find out everything negative in their life the first 30 minutes meeting them. Yeah. Like, nigga, what happened? You woke up today. <laughs> nigga, I, get welcome to, to it. Welcome to Crash Dummies episode 149. Um, we got the whole crew here. We got Key, we got Ooh, Pat, dude. and then you got the best person on earth, me. What's going on? That's crazy. Say Narcissist. No, 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 no. Let, let that, just let that breathe. Because he's not going to let that slide. What? You're going to correct yourself. The best person on earth? Yes. There's more people off for it. Why? You're the best person on earth? I think so. Okay, but move on. Let that slide. Come on. <laughs> oh, let that, that in as a real thought. <laughs> not that that nigga. Because if I respond, be like, no, you're not. And then you get the back up, like, man, you know I'm just playing. Fuck that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> hey, hey, man, first of all, I got something to say about Make this. sure you subscribe to Patreon. No, y'all ain't got to subscribe for real, bro. No. I'm done with y'all. I'm done begging, <laughs> no. bro. <laughs> make, sure you, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. We just dropped an episode on Monday. Um... Make sure you follow us on all our uh, social platforms. Later in this episode, if I remember, I will call the winner of the $100 giveaway for the Patreon. Boom. We um, will. We will call we will. the person. And then what else I got? Okay, go ahead. Say what you're going to say. We're, we're going to call you. And, and I got a bone to pick with you about this, honey. I need to know where it's spent. <laughs> I need receipts. All $100. But I was saying WNBA, right? Yep. Uh, WNBA is trending right now, obviously, because Caitlin Clark. K- Caitlin Clark, obviously, everybody's heard of Caitlin Clark. Yeah, yeah. She's kind of like a uh, a female Steph Curry. Yeah. Right? Uh, or just Caitlin. Or Curry. woman Steph Curry. Yeah. I'm saying play That's style. That's the best comparison. Yes, yes. For those that don't know, I'm just trying to educate. Yeah. I ain't trying to. Oh, what y'all want me to say? She's like. Go Sabrina. ahead. Go ahead. Let me say go. she. 
a t- the, the new Diana Taurasi. Like, man, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Steph Curry, man. But I'm just saying, like, her impact to the game and how yeah, when, sure. when Steph came in the game and Caitlin's entering the game, that's what the hype was. Mm-hmm. Because they do doable shots. That's why, I pe- that's why I think people like Steph. And I think, like, you can go and practice what Caitlin and Steph doing. Like a lot, both of y'all having glasses on, staring at me, makes it feel like I'm being interrogated for some shit. For real? Yeah. So definitely gotta be that gr- is a bitch. <laughs> that, definitely got to be that green uh, green card. <laughs> oh, we can play good, we can play good cop, uh, fat cop. I mean, uh, bad cop. Shut, shut <laughs> mouth fast. All right, my bad for interrupting you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Clark. That boy look like the cheese. Oh, burger, my. Look at that dude. I'm sorry, y'all. Like cool I'm sorry, y'all. Bar. I'm sorry. That's me. I take that. That's me for interrupting the conversation. Go ahead. You look like the driver from a diamond heist. You like a drummer from a fell band. <laughs> Your ass look like Jamie Foxx stunt devil. Stunt what? Devil. <laughs> you meant stunt double. devil? Double. Oh. Oh, you're for real? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were joking. Stunt devil is crazy, but stunt bro. De- bro, because they got, you know. How does that make sense? Describe. But they got a stunt devil. I thought he was joking. Devil. Well, technically, stu- technically, they are stunt devils, though. Key, because let they, it oh, die. listen, listen. No, let no, no. I'm not key, letting this key, die. Key, key, I'm key, not key, letting key, it key. die. We cannot let it die. Because hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me oh. out. Technically, stunt devils, right, they do shit that other people wouldn't do. Like, Drastic oh, ass like shit. Daredevil. So, that's, yeah, exactly. That's a daredevil. Hey, it's already a word for but, it. <laughs> nigga, it's a stunt devil too, bro. <laughs> it's already a word <laughs> for it. It's not a. So hey. you telling me we look up stunt devil right now? He can be. So stunt devil is not a real. It is not real. Huh? Stunt devil is not real. Stunt Those two devil? words, yeah, being put together, it's not a real word. From I don't know. from my education, no. Okay, let's see how well y'all are educated. If I'm well, but what I know for sure what you were trying to say, but, but, I, but, I know for sure what you were trying to say is stunt double. This is my first time hearing about the word, so I haven't had a chance to Google it. <laughs> You've been knowing this word way longer. Is it a word? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what the fuck? But people are using it though. Like it says, somebody said, yeah, there's more dumb niggas said. like you in the world, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, that's so funny, bro. You know that's the craziest concept yeah. on earth. Like, there's people don't realize there's so many dumb people on earth. So when they post something and it gets a lot of likes, they yeah. feel like they're correct. Like you ever see like a dude just be like, uh, he got like a flat earth theory and yeah. shit like that. He'd be like, the world is surrounded by big ice caps and that's mm. Antarctica and shit like that. He get fifty thousand likes and he'd be like, I'm smarter than you. The person that said, Hey, the earth is round. I got three likes. Yeah. Because smart people don't like simple information. <laughs> so we're gonna skip over it. Yeah. Dumb niggas like information yeah. like that. Like, yeah, we surrounded <laughs> by ice. They trying to hide it. All right, now back to the Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. <laughs> um best shooter in the league. Best shooter. We'll, we'll see in a WNBA. But that's the problem with the we'll see, right? Mm. Um, I feel like when Wimby came in the NBA, nobody said we'll see. They all gave him his props. Like, dude, a freak. Hell he no. Nah. No. Niggas was definitely talking shit about Wimby. I'm Who? a Spurs fan. Nobody the was. The internet, yes. No, 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 no. People no. were saying Chad listen, were better listen, than Wimby. Listen, listen. I said players. Think. Anyway. <laughs> Bro, that don't make any sense. Come on. I'm saying players. The players. Oh, aren't saying it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Anyways, the players aren't saying it, right? Mm-hmm. I forgot my thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Bro, let me talk. I swear, we are just the anyway, most. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, the, the players didn't uh, hate on Wimby when he came in. Yeah. They gave him his props. But dude, the freak, he an alien. Mm-hmm. Uh, he might win defensive player of the year. Draymond Green said something like that, right? Caitlin Clark. You got, like, Diana Tarazi saying, like, she won't be able to get away with that on the next level. Like, that's some hate and shit, yeah. bro. For somebody that's about to uplift your sport, even Don... Um, Staley. Yeah, Don Staley, the, just the head coach of the South Carolina, she came out during her acceptance speech for the championship and said, hey, Caitlin Clark means a lot to our game. Mm-hmm. Like, she's about to uplift our game in ways that has never been done. The, and, the Va- Las Vegas Aces moved their... Move stadiums for their game against the Indiana Fever. Because that's who has the number one pick. Yeah. Like everybody, everybody knows she's about to be the number one pick. So, like... Why, I owe to Indiana's crazy, though. Why, why, wouldn't you, why wouldn't you embrace that? Like, it's just, like, a lot of jealousy. The, the person that has, like, the all-time... Uh, that Caitlin Clark passed for all-time leading Sabrina scoring... Sabrina Inescu? 
Uh, no, I think oh, it was, oh, oh, it was, it was like a it was black, black, black lady. It's yeah, a black lady. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck, we should know her name. Yeah, That's yeah. terrible. But anyways, um, she she said uh, a speech basically that Caitlin Clark didn't break her record because of the three point line, and she had to do it with all two pointers and stuff like that. <laughs> so, in that same sense, it's just like y'all not embracing. Somebody that's about to uplift y'all sport and y'all, that's what y'all struggle with. Mm-hmm. That's what the whole struggle has been with the pay gap and the fans not coming out. And this is what y'all do to somebody that's about to uplift y'all sport. Y'all get to talking crazy. Knowing everybody gonna pay attention to Diana Tarazi. You got a whole fan base. Yeah. You might, you might get people to stop liking her. She you, changed the game when she came in too. Yeah, you yeah. changed the game. Now you're a dinosaur. It's okay. Yeah. You're a really good legendary dinosaur. <laughs> but now it's the young buck turn. Like you got you gotta get her props up. Like that that's terrible, bro. Oh yeah, shout out to our, our boy Cam. He was in the the Y'all seen that crazy you seen that crazy pullback? Yeah, yeah, I did. That was no, crazy. That was nice, that's what I like to see. Two niggas. That's him. That was who we shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shout out Cam, man. Yes, I knew you didn't get that. I just Dedicated that podcast <laughs> listeners. That's what we like to see out our podcast yeah, listeners. Yeah, yeah, Dunk, yeah. Dunking shit. Yeah, stop calling us telling you. Final guys. in the final, even though he lost in the finals though. Yeah. Stop calling us telling you you got fired and shit. Nobody wanna hear that fuck <laughs> shit. Dunk some shit. <laughs> Do some shit. Be better, bro. Go to, the, like, all our Saudi Arabian friends. Get us a, a Lambo, man. I mean, man, they slipping, bro. I know we got a, a, a we got to have at least one listener that's, like, close to being a billionaire. Yeah. Where he can make, like, a big purchase. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't seen nothing, bro. Yeah. So you telling me everybody on here broke. <laughs> <laughs> None of y'all touch the M? None of y'all touch the M? None of y'all. Nothing. It gotta be one of us that touched the M, man. Or we have bat- to we, prove we that bat- y'all touched the M. You gotta send us a thousand. Exactly. <laughs> Just for proof. Just for proof of concept. We'll 2K, send it back though. Two K, two K, two K, two K. Got you. Got you. Know. We'll send but, it right back. But I'm just saying though, we all can't. One of us gotta be a billionaire yeah. in here, right? One of us, bro. We got a big community. We, we do. Get a, we get a lot of listeners a month. You gotta think by math. It has to be. You think so? Like somebody that's... Uh, you don't have to send us any money, but just prove to us that you make a, you have a million dollars liquid in your car. That's all I want to see. Uh, we're not going to say... We're not going to release your information or shout to you. I just want to see how... If we actually have a millionaire... Listener. Listener. Yeah, yeah. Niggas yeah. sitting up staying. And if you work for a millionaire, get their social security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know one, though, nigga. Okay. <laughs> send me some of his money then. Prove it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So... Oh, yeah. Uh, when we were in New York... Um, there was an earthquake, and y'all some our listeners, y'all some bitches. They were all. I'm, and I was defending. I'm defending you, Key. Who? Some I'm listeners. Key. I'm defending you, Key. This who is why. Calling, who are you calling a bitch? Our audience. Some of them. Whoa. Not all y'all, but some of y'all. When we got to, uh, I ain't with him. When we got to New York, and there was an earthquake, and then people knew where an earthquake. They said it had to be Key. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that shit. They said as soon as we got there, they thought you were with us. As soon as we got there, there was an earthquake. You know, ain't talking about what shit. What you got to say to them, man? They ain't talking about shit, man. I was saying, like, defend yourself. That's all I can say. Oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. If, I, if I'm out here starting, but it, realistically, if I'm out here starting earthquakes, don't let me come to your town. Yo, yo. Yo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um,. <laughs> that shit I, went, no, I'm just saying that shit wasn't even funny though. Like it was like a low hanging fruit. It was a low hanging fruit. But well, you know the fucked up part though. I'm a bitch. Was, fruits, I'm a, a bitch. I'm jokes. a bitch too because before they said that, I said Pat. It'd been funny as Key was here because I already know people would be saying that. Yeah, that he goes to earthquake, and then I looked at the DMs. Hell <laughs> so hell they were saying no. you caused the Hell no. <laughs> Yeah, that shit um. wasn't even funny, bro. <laughs> Y'all ass sick as hell. <laughs> Fat jokes cannot be this funny. Like, realistically, let's just time out. Okay. If you make a skinny joke, why is it not that funny? Because we're not, we're not fat. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not skinny, though. No, that, that is true, though. I do feel that because if somebody has, like, an eating disorder, right, and they're, like, super skinny because of that, people won't really make fun of them as much as they would do somebody that's, like, has an eating disorder and obesity. Yeah, because they they closer to death than y'all, right? Y'all got to worry about, like, high cholesterol and heart attacks and shit. Well, it might be the same thing. It might be. It, it could, yeah, very it could well be, be on, on both scales. Yeah. Like, if you 500 pounds and you, like, 85 pounds, you're probably, like, real close to death. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I wonder, and this is not, this is anybody has an eating disorder or obesity, whatever, like, you know. We ain't but, 
But do you think it's easier to eat more as a person that's like might have an eating disorder or like eat less as somebody that's like on the stream end? I feel like it's or they're like, equally as hard. You feel like I feel like it's depending on the person. Yeah, yeah. Because if you the fatter you are, the bigger your stomach is. <laughs> it depends on the person. That's sad. Anytime yeah. you see somebody like that, like it's it's like it's dope calling your friend fat when he probably only two hundred fifty pounds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he muscular. It's like it's your fat ass. But like somebody that was like actually four hundred pounds. Yeah, I could never call them fat. Yeah, like, I could never make fun of them for being like four hundred. It'd feel like you actually bullying somebody. Even, yeah. even if like like let's say you saw like a five hundred pound woman like in Walmart on like one of those like moving shopping carts and she accidentally ran over mm. your foot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was about to cap so hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. She ran over my foot. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be the hardest. <laughs> I might bite my fucking lip off doing that shit, boy. Uh, the thing I didn't like though was that when we're in New York, right? <laughs> when I got back, right? And when we got back, I had people say, "Oh, how was New Year?" And this time, be like, "Cool, cool." Like, bro, did y'all, y'all, did y'all, did y'all try this food place? Oh, I should have told y'all about this food place when y'all were there. I forgot. I'm like, bro, stop telling me that you should have told me about such something. Such useless Why, ass information. Such, it's so useless. No. Why are you saying I hate that shit, bro? <laughs> bro never tell me useless information. <laughs> Automatically, uh, enemy. You must want me to feel bad. That's the only reason you're telling me. Yeah. No, it would take me like a mm. couple. It would take me like a year to tell you something that you were close to, right? Yeah. So if you did something, what's the point? So like, you, saw, let, you had me on social media. Let, like, let's say, let's say, like I saw you, like let's say you you got a ticket, right? Mm. Actually, I might tell you. Yeah. Because I was I was about to make I was about to cap again. <laughs> I was about to say is, if yeah. you bought a ticket for a million dollars and I was about to tell you to buy another one, I wouldn't tell you. But that's just you though. I just try to hurt your heart. I'd be like, bro, do you know that ticket I was about to tell you to buy? It won a million, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's like best friend shit. That's yeah. what you like. But it's just like, I don't know if I would tell somebody that. Yeah, I just I just don't get it because obviously you saw my story. Mm -hmm. That was in New York. Yeah. At that moment, you could have told me about your food recommendations, yeah, that, which I probably would have. But cool. then you wait till I see you to be like, it's knowing I'm not in New York anymore. It's a difference, though. What? It's, if it's something crazy like I just named, I, I give it a little bit of grace. Yeah. It just be like, bruh, y'all was in New York. I know Jim Jones and I could have, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or, hey, damn, I know Drake. He would have told y'all to come on set. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Right? They'll be like, hey, bro, y'all should have tried this free restaurant with free food the whole time y'all was there. <laughs> Man, shut your bitch ass up, bro. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Free restaurant is crazy. <laughs> free restaurant, bro. Y'all, y'all wouldn't. Hey, y'all wouldn't pay no money, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and we, it was a free hotel. They do free hotel with podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, what the fuck? We did. We also did a lot of driving in um in New York, and then going to like Philly. So we were in the cars like five hours at a time sometimes, right? Um, that shit. I got a car sick. <laughs> <laughs> but what I what I started to notice is that. You really have to get in a road, your road trip music bag. Mm. Like, your road trip music bag is important. Because how I started off was, like, I'll listen to, this shit, your road trip ox bag, right? I start off with a podcast, right? Mm -hmm. I start to get a little sleepy with the podcast. Then I start playing the songs that are already on my phone that I listen to on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. After I get a little bit bored of that, I then go to throwbacks to, like, start thinking of songs that I haven't heard in a long time. So I usually go to, like, a 90s, 2000s R&B uh um, playlist, and yeah. I start playing that, and that kind of makes the rice moves. You kind of have a little transition. You also have to be mindful of the people in the car too. I do the podcast at the beginning when everybody else is sleeping, so they all have to listen to what I'm listening to. I always then, listen to. They just be like, "If you want thicker glutes, all you gotta do is listen to." I woke up though, and then Pat was listening to Stan Key. Stan Eminem? Yeah, Stan That's Eminem. a pretty good song. But, but rapping it ready to word for out. word. But you know oh, what? Yeah, I, he was ready to you know, I like, you know what I really like to do on road trips? What? Especially, I don't like to tell people this because then they assume I'm not paying attention to driving. Yeah. And I don't want to scare them. But I'll follow somebody whole American Idol journey. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, damn, then they got a whole recording contract. He's yeah. doing good for himself. Yeah. So. I've done that so many times <laughs> from the auditions all the way to the, the finals and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this is my nigga. I know yeah. he's going to win. Yeah. You be happy as hell when you're reading the next video. Oh, you made it to the next round. <laughs> Click that motherfucker. Remember American Idol used to make you like call on the screen and like to vote for this person. 
Call this number right now. I be calling. Like, shit. Yeah, I used to wonder it, used if be the, it used to be the text number too. Yeah, they should, they should do that. You should and we didn't have free text messaging. You should be able to vote for Super Bowl MVP like that too. Oh yeah. really? I Hell forgot yeah. that. You used, and dunk contest. Like it you used was to be real? able to dial in. Yeah, you, you no, I to, knew the dunk contest. You one. had to dial in a number. You had to say yes, no to the number three eight think, five seven four. Do you think the result? They should probably do. I feel like they should do three judges right for a dunk contest and one fan score, right? Yeah, because I think the fans have. All we have all the angles. We have the the wide angle the whole time. I don't think they should do fan. It's too. I'm, about, I'm, I'm just saying too many wh- trolls too. Yeah. No, so, I'm just saying people are gonna be honest with. I feel like the one thing nah, people are honest with Duncan. Not in this but it's, age. But it's, said people are honest is crazy. No, but I'm just saying <laughs> one vote though. I'm not saying the whole contest. Three con three judges and one fan judge. So like the cumulative the the total score. Damn, I almost try to say the cumulative. Nah. Cu- cumulative. I don't even know what that is. I know this. I know what you're trying to say. You're saying it way wrong. I know, but that's like a tongue twister for me. Cumulative. 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 There you go, Key. There you go. Yeah. Cumulative. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> All that college shit. Man. Bro, that's nothing. We're not going to start with let's that watch, one. Let's watch YouTube. That's what you feel like YouTube ranks. Where you I feel, feel like, like you can, I feel like you you can like, learn anything like that you learn in college from YouTube as long as you got the information and find it out. Right. How are you supposed to know what information to get? You can watch anything, bro. There's so much. Like, on my YouTube, if we go through my shorts, it's like... It depends on what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. So right, it depends right, on where your head is. You're at. not about to be a doctor and say, yo, I learned it through YouTube. Hey, I, I probably can get, get somebody stitches if I watch it on YouTube. Pro- yeah, okay. But keep it. Like, yeah, you got, yeah, you got cancer. But you missing, a, you missing a lace on your shoe, nigga. nigga I'm not missing <laughs> you can't no do that with stitches, shoe, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you is, bro. Wait, no. I got a question for y'all about the lottery. Do y'all think that shit real, bro? Yeah. Yes. I think it's real. You and real think money. real people win it? Because every time somebody win it, it's some old-ass white couple. I every think, single time. I think they control who win it. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. They definitely control who win it. They know what ticket goes out. They know who at the ticket. I'm not going to engage in this conversation. See the camera? And they see what number <laughs> anyway. you pay, And they be like, we making Dan... From Council Bluffs, Iowa, win this billion because if we give it to Pat Johnson, he gonna try to take over the fucking world. They be like, bruh, they gonna be mad as hell at the meeting at the uh, win the lottery. <laughs> Just like, bro, you see, he bought another tank, bro. This shit getting annoying now, bro. This is fifth plane this week, bro. Fuck, do he need nuclear weapons for? The uh, eclipse happened, <laughs> and the th- interesting thing about Racist the ass shit, bro. <laughs> the interesting thing about the eclipse was that. How many times I saw the eclipse on everybody's story? Like we all don't have like the same sky. Nah, you sound like a hate man. No, but this is no, 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 no. Let, me tell you, let me tell you why I was hating. But you got. Let me tell you why I was hating. Listen, because when we walked outside, oh my god, our shit didn't look like our sun didn't look like everybody else's man, sun. Our shit, and then I took a picture with my film camera, not realizing that I should have took it through. The the solar eclipse glasses, which I didn't have, so you can actually see the actual thing. So when I get that film back, it's just gonna be super bright of nothing. You won't even be able to see shit. Oh damn! <laughs> so that's why I was hating. So stop putting the same sky on the on our story, man. That, it's funny how people make an event out of everything, though. It is interesting. That's it. What? No, no, I'm saying that's it. That's funny. What? I'm saying that's a good point. <laughs> what? <laughs> the glass, what? I'm not going gla- to load the glasses that throw me the fuck off, especially when I don't have glasses on. Yeah, it's just, I, it doesn't make any sense. Eye contact is a part of uh, communicating. You think so? Yeah. Can't you tell, can't, what, what, th- what things can you tell something, tell somebody with your eyes? Like what things can you communicate with your eyes only? You're annoyed. You're annoyed. How you do that? Huh? How you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you look, nah, nah, you look so far. I'd be like, damn, this nigga's stupid. <laughs> I would say, no, I, I thought you was gonna roll your eyes though. Yeah, look. Why you, would you roll your eyes? You look pat up and down. Yeah, was, it, was, it, was, it, was wait, little, it was a little. It was a little zesty. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You're not. You know. You know. I don't really do the pause thing that much. So why when 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 street niggas do it, it's all good. I have never seen. I've never seen a street nigga look me up and down. I'm not gonna lie. Like me, you mug you? What is no, it? No, no, no. I made a mistake ne- too, Key. I made a mistake, bro. I tried to show you how to roll your eyes. See? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, do your eyes like this. No, this, Key, can I see the glasses real quick? Let me just, so I can show the our viewers what you did. So, Key had the glasses on, right? <laughs> I said, look at him, right? He then does this. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> on my mama, you did that. You took the glasses off. On my mama, you did that. Face, he broke. Sorry, I did mama. Not do this. You look, look the, you look from the top of your eyes. No, bro. You I'm just looking out for you, bro. Here we, you go. What Ice Cube did and Are We There Yet is exactly what I did. Why do you, you having that reference that, in your head is disgusting. Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck was that, bro? <laughs> like, how? Like, Your ass need to go to college, bro. I swear to God. Why? Because it just, man, if you got memory like that, bro, you need to go be a doctor or some <laughs> shit, bro. Oh, WrestleMania. How the fuck you remember, like, Ice Cube did? <laughs> no, <laughs> Nigga, I yet. watched that movie. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, WrestleMania happened. There's a lot of rappers in them. Like, you know, there's a lot of like actually musicians, celebrities at WrestleMania. It's kind of interesting to see like wrestling's back and stuff like that in a yeah. sense. Um Triple H killing it, man. DJ uh The Rock is actually I would I don't credit. watch wrestling, though. I don't want to put that out there. The <laughs> The Meek Mills telling Rock to get up was funny. Yeah, he said, get yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, I heard DJ Academic was saying like Stone Cold was always um basically stone people with, Stone Cold had a character where you would have thought he was racist, but he wasn't racist. Right, right, Do you right, think right, that right. was true? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. funny because you would think Stone Cold would be racist <laughs> and Hulk Hogan would like black people, but we saw it was opposite. <laughs> we were duped. <laughs> that Hulk Hogan thing, is like one of those, like, it happened, The his racist little rant happened so long ago. It happened at the right time, too. Yeah. <laughs> if he said that, like, in today's age, <laughs> man, it was... Because it was hard to find that tape of if even, like, Cause it wasn't even like the internet age when that happened either. It was like a little bit, but not as now. Bro, listen. If he would have did that in today's age, you know, they would have sued him so hard <laughs> that they wouldn't allow him to be Hulk Hogan no more. <laughs> like you got to go back to your regular name. You got to start acting like a regular nigga, or we gonna <laughs> sue you nasty. every time you act like Hulk Hogan. You accidentally because they do own his name. You you accidentally say brother at the end of one of your sentences, <laughs> nigga. We suing you for fifty million. <laughs> What's that? What's Hulk Hogan real name? I'm looking up Terry Jean. Terry what Jean. What the fuck? Or if Terry he, Eugene Bolia. I would have never I guessed get, that. I, I, you know, I Terry. If Eugene. I saw Hulk Hogan in person, I'm like one of them type of people that I just I still wouldn't fuck with him. Even you though, like, nah. Even though I'm supposed to like go get a picture because that's Hulk Hogan. That's real rare. Like. I can't fuck with him just off the fact that he did that because I feel like I've I've, ne- I've never said no crazy racist shit. Yeah. On, I don't know what I would do honestly. On accident, I might bro. sell out. Like even like you know you would sell out. No bro. matter who you, you just no like matter fan. no I'm matter be like brother. <laughs> <laughs> no matter where you like lean politically, like if I saw Trump, would I want a picture with Trump? I never heard Trump say the N word though. True. <laughs> and I think he's such a meme. I would take one with him. I'm taking a picture with Trump. I'll take one with Biden too. I don't care. Nah. No, I can't, I can't, I can't jam with Biden. Bro. Hell, can't for what? I'm taking a picture with both of them. Nah, I, on, on some real shit, I, I could be capping, but I don't get the same. I guess Obama was different. Yeah. But still, with Bush back then when I was a kid, man, I would have been geek to get a picture with Bush. Yeah. Like, I don't care what you did. Bill Clinton too. Yeah, I, I get a picture. You know of what I'm saying? It's like I get like, a picture of Bill now. Bill's a wild boy. But, but when you old, in the White House. But when you older and you like grow up with a president, yeah. I feel like it's different. Now as a grown man, I don't feel the need to like get a picture with Biden. Trump was always a celebrity yeah. before that. Yeah. But like with Biden, like as a grown man, I was like, I don't need no picture with you. But like that age, like Obama, man, yeah. Obama would have came to my shit. I'd be like, oh shit, my nigga, change. <laughs> what the fuck? You just, you know, you re- you ever shout out some random shit when you see a celebrity, you can't think of shit? No. You just like, that's that nigga that I do? When I see a uh, celebrity? No, not in person, but like, oh. you name the thing that that person did. No. Instead of saying their name first, because that's how you know them. Example? I don't know. I'm not trying to disrespect him. <laughs> but, like, like, uh, but like Mike Epps said, he, yeah. got, he got a bit where he's like, he's always calling... Coming up to me, calling me Day Day, and just like ah Day 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 Day. I'm saying that's how I remember Obama. Change, change, change. You won't change. Obama. It was that was the slogan. Yeah, that's uh, what, I was so wondering why you kept saying oh, change. Oh, white people had the craziest joke about that. What? It was so, man. You know, one of them jokes is like it's racist, but it's good. Yeah. And you're just like, bro, that shit. That shit is so racist. They said. They said. What do you call? A guy begging for change around the White House. It's like, now you thinking, and they're just like, Obama. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You don't get that? His campaign slogan was change. 
Oh, that's like a white person joke, though. That, that's that's what. <laughs> that's what you just said. That's what I just said. No, I was agreeing with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro. Uh, I saw uh, Bro what uh, I just well, You gotta take an IQ test bro It's I either saw, really high Or really low Like This episode is sponsored By Underdog Fantasy This app is an easy way To make cash Just by making picks On your favorite players All you have to do Is pick if players Will have a higher Or lower stat total To win while picking between two and five players to build a pick em entry. Underdog is available in more than 30 states. Make sure to support the show and click the link in the bio. Download the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 when you use the code DUMMIES. Anyway, thank you for Underdog for sponsoring this episode. And make sure to use the code DUMMIES. Um, now back to the show. Tell us about the worst day you've ever had. The worst what? Day that you've ever had. The worst day I ever had? Yeah. All right, I, I, I think I got one for you. All right, uh, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take it all the way back to Insta High, bro. One day, bro, it was me, Mo. See, Mo will probably tell you the story. It was me, Mo, uh, probably my boy, uh, Bam, and a couple of us. It was like three of us. We was cool and booze. One day, bro, we chilling. And we in the hallway before, you know, probably like uh, early in the morning. And you know me, you feel me? I'm talking crazy to these boys. Like, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, because they talking about, like, you feel me? The motherfuckers be getting their ass whooped. And I'm like, I ain't gonna hold you up. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Shit, anytime you around me, or my mama, you safe. Niggas are looking at me crazy, like, get the fuck out of here. I said, oh, for real? I said, okay, I'm gonna make it make it so simple for you. Watch this. One day, the same day, I walked out the back door, bro. I have never walked out the back door in my life. My buses only go to the front door, but I want to talk the back door because I, I don't know. I think I seen a female or something, or was, I was kicking them with my, I was kicking them with my, my friends or some shit like that, bro. All right, as the, as I'm kicking it with these boys, right? Just imagine this: you kicking it, everything going smooth, handy dandy. Yeah, you already know what time it is. You feel me? I got my LOP coat on that bitch, busting. You feel me? That bitch cost like four, five hundred. You feel me? I'm looking good. I got my rock course on this when the rock course is. Busting, you feel me? I had them bitches shiny, you feel me? I put the uh the Vaseline on them bitches so they can really bust. You feel what I'm talking about? And I had the big, the big backpack, you feel me? I'm talking about the joint like they about to go on a hike, you feel me? I'm looking real good out here, you feel me? I'm bugging out. So I'm getting to talking to these boys and I like, I don't know, I just had like a like a, a moment to myself. And it's like it just came out of nowhere. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Just like I started looking around. And I uh like, what the fuck? It seemed like everybody was scattering like fucking ants. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I look forward, and it's this little, this little motherfucker. He look at me, and he say, hey, bro, I heard you was talking shit. I looked this nigga dead in his shit, and I had to look back like, hold on. I look at myself like, hold on, bro. It's no way. I have never talked shit to this guy. I don't even know this nigga. I don't talk shit to gangster niggas for real because I know they on real gangster shit. So I'm like, you know what? I'm like, hey, my nigga, I don't know what the fuck. Boom, he shocked me. I said, oh, my God, I had a bad soul rabies moment. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck should I do? You know what the fuck I did. You know what the fuck I did. Put them paws on his ass. Took his ass up, brought his ass back down. Put his ass on that car. Like, boop, 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 boop. And then now that soul rabies moment clicked the fuck back in. Whoop. Oh, my God, it's 11 niggas. <laughs> I wait. I say to myself, I say, so... In this moment of time, do I be a real nigga and stay and bang with all these niggas? <laughs> or do I be a whole ass nigga, which is the smart thing to do, and get the fuck on? Me being the inner ego, like I just told you, I had the LOP coat on, the glossy rock porch on the feet. With the mountain climber bag on my back. I'm not running from shit, you feel me? I'm running from <laughs> shit, 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 everything, you feel me? Niggas just bugging out. I got the beam for that. I kept beating his ass. Ming, 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 ming. I swear to God. Two seconds. I, I kid you not on my soul. The first punch the first nigga threw at me, boom, I dropped to the knee. I tell you, this shit over. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, this is just how you know shit get real crazy. When he hit me and I dropped to the knee, everything went slow. Like, wow. <laughs> Like, what the fuck just happened? All you see is them same 11 niggas 
stomping me with all 10 balls. I'm, 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 I'm like, what the fuck? This shit crazy. And out of nowhere, look, I got to understand this part. You at Inksta High. So Inksta High is full of gangsters. But then you got a lot of athletic motherfuckers who extra huge. And you like, man, why you ain't in the league yet? You feel me? But at the end of the day, that ain't the point. The point is, these big motherfuckers came out. I never knew I had this much pool because I'm that nigga. When these niggas came out, I swear to God on my mama. God can strike me down right now. He took the, the big niggas, the nigga named Bam. He took the big nigga, I'm grabbing. Woof. The nigga did the helicopter. Woof, 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 woof. I said, oh my God, this shit is a movie. <laughs> niggas is flying. Are you good, Kobe? I said, they whooping niggas ass while he's saying, is you good, Kobe? I said, oh my God, we got to get this shit down packed. Stop. This one shit got bad. As they got everything situated and everybody got the fuck on, Kobe, you good? I'm Gucci, baby. Anything you need, bro, you good. I said, bet, say no more. As I'm walking back to the bus, I go to my bus. You know, it's on the opposite side. I see all my niggas on there. And all these niggas looking at me. And all my, my clothes and everything, discobobulating and shit, my shirt. <laughs> Hanging halfway off my motherfucking shoulders and shit. I look like a bad bitch a little bit. And I'm like, <laughs> niggas look like, like, Ryan, what the fuck happened? I said, you know what the fuck happened. I'm pretty sure you niggas seen 11 niggas jumping on one nigga over there and they had the whole football team come help me, dog. Where the fuck was y'all niggas at? Niggas was looking at me like, I ain't gonna hold you up, bro. I don't think you ever been that way before, but... I got jumped over there too. <laughs> <laughs> so niggas never warned me about the chaos of going to the back door of Insta High. You gotta, you gotta understand this shit. Insta High is a different type of ball game. You got niggas walking into school with fuck the world tatted on their head. If you see a nigga with the nigga with the word fuck the world tatted on their head, I'm telling you, listen to me, nigga. Look the other way. Call your mom and say, Ma, we got to go to a different school. This is not it. These is not niggas from in the school. These niggas are smoking cigarettes <laughs> and psychology. Nigga, how you smoking <laughs> cigarettes and psychology? We, 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 we trying to get past this shit. You over there. I ain't going to hold up. None of this shit happening over there. I ain't going to hold up. None of this shit mean nothing unless I'm hitting this cigarette. These niggas was different. You feel what I'm saying? But the moral of the story is, after all that shit, I walked out that bitch still crispy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand this shit. I was so grippy. Like all I had to do was just like pull my shirt back to the other side, like make it, you know, even it out a little bit so my neck won't look all fucked up. But then as I'm walking and I'm thinking like, nigga, I just I won't keep put on, nigga. <laughs> but as I'm walking, my shoulder gets to like dropping on me like damn shit just start getting heavy like I'm a big nigga like I'm 300 pounds or something like shit nigga shit getting heavy bruh bruh let me tell you this my whole left shoulder was out of place my nigga I'm talking about the, the shit was sticking up like it was a motherfucking stop sign without the stop sign on that bitch just the pole just I'm like nigga I'm fucked up somebody gotta take me to the hospital Somebody got to tell me, yeah, that shit fucked me up, though, bro. Never <laughs> really? more that story. I, I really was hurt. I'm still hurt to this day. <laughs> yeah, but was you crispy at the doctors? What you mean? Crispy as fuck. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't even get to, I, I forgot I had the gold chain on. <laughs> Look, it went on a little 14, 20, okay, a little 10K, you know, but I had the fat 10K boy. I had a little gold chain on. They ripped that off, so I'm like, shit, I'm crispy as fuck. I'm drippy. <laughs> All right. My if, girl, she's. My girl looked at me like, babe, what happened? I said, nothing. Just a crazy day. <laughs> All right, we if, might have to do that again. Yeah, it was I, a got, great day. I got one more question for you. Uh, for, our, for our listeners, right? If right. our listeners want to visit Detroit, what are some things they have to be uh, aware of? Um, you, you ain't got to be really too aware. Just mind your own fucking business. Or what was it like growing up in Detroit? I ain't gonna hold you up. Going to Detroit, growing up in Detroit, bro, is hard, gang. I ain't gonna hold you up, bro. If you ain't really like that, bro, you gonna get your ass bullied for real, gang. I got bullied for a long time. I got probably got bullied all the way up to like the fourth grade. Fourth grade, niggas was bullying the fuck out of me. What they bully you for? I was, 
How, what are they bullying me for? Yeah. Bro, I look good. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> they bullied, they bullied you because you look good? Yeah, yeah. They bullied me because I had the bitches. You feel me? <laughs> they bitches on my dick. And I didn't do nothing about it. You feel me? All I did was talk shit. Like, I ain't going to hold you. you. You mad at me for no reason. You feel me? You bugging out. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm like that. But at the end of the day, bro, real shit. Going to Detroit, bro, that shit is like it's like traumatized, but it's like helpful at the same time. Cause it's saying like if you really grew up in this shit, bro, you really don't know how to get it out. Mother, you feel me? You really gonna know how to go get something. You ain't gonna be no slouch ass nigga unless you just always been a slouch ass nigga. But at the end of the day, bro, it's the money to get out here. If you stay in your own lane. You gonna be Gucci, you feel me? Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. But if you step out that line, you gonna get your dumb ass beat up, butt <laughs> snatched, earrings, took out your ear, put them in his bitch ear, take your pants off, put them bitches on, put the shoes on the dog. I'm telling you, nigga, they don't do anything. They don't give a fuck. Nigga, take them shoes off that nigga. I can't fit them. Nigga, the dog can. Nigga, the dog can. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. That is crazy. <laughs> disrespectful. Niggas is disrespectful, bro. I ain't gonna hold you up, brother. Man, I had times with nigga, y'all have to walk across the street. Like, I, I, I had a time, bro, I was growing up. I was walking down the street one day, bro, and I was kicking it with my homeboy. It's when I, went, I had probably had, like, no fights in my life. I was a church going ass boy. Shit, I like motherfucking Dragon Balls. Me and my motherfucking little brother, we powering up in the motherfucking living room type shit. And then you go inside a school craft and we're bright and shit at, you feel me? And these niggas built different, you feel me? I'm, maybe I got hit away from the hood, but that's what it felt like. I was hit away from the hood. But when I was walking, I was walking home from school and shit. You know, I watched a lot of Dragon Balls. And it was um this one guy, he was t- t- telling everybody, uh, hey, Anybody say anything, I'm going to beat the fuck out of one of y'all niggas. And I was looking at him like, damn, he really said that. <laughs> like, I wonder, is he talking to all of us? <laughs> I, know we, I know we all not no hoes. Like, we can't all be no hoes. So I'm like, in my head, look, you got to understand this shit. I did not know. This is, God can strike me down right, my bro. I did not know I was about to say this shit to this nigga. As this nigga said that shit, I thought I said it inside of my head. I said, nigga, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Whoa. And this nigga, I swear to God, still didn't, to this day didn't know I said that shit. This nigga looked at me like, nigga, what? Boom, shocked me in my jaw. And I'm like, oh, that was so as hell. I kept walking. Like, oh, that was nothing. Ain't that bitch all? <laughs> I said, nigga. Bro, the, the worst part about that shit is, my daddy from the trenches, you feel me? And all my family stay over that way, you feel me? They really like that. So my daddy fuck around and say that. And he, all you hear is, nigga, nigga, so you better whoop that nigga ass. I say, I ain't going to hold you up, pop. I don't want to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just hit me in my shit. And I, don't, I just, that shit didn't feel too good, you feel me? Like. <laughs> I go to church every day. Like, I want to go to Sunday school, bro. I want to go, like, have some dances and shit. Like, I don't want to do none of this. Yo, go out there and whoop this nigga ass. I start crying like a bitch. I swear to God, crying tears. I'm like, like, like your mama just, I mean, like, like your goddamn dog just died. I was dropping tears, taking off my shit. I don't want to fight this whole ass. No. Oh, my God, I don't want to fight this nigga. <laughs> man, that little nigga, man, I don't know. It's like my daddy told him to sock me again. The nigga ran up to him. What up, man? Fuck that. Fuck who sock that off? Hell no. Hell no. It, just, it made me pop back into reality. Like, nigga, you know you a nigga, right? You you know you was built for, built with these hands, right? I start. I ain't do nothing. I grabbed that nigga. I tried to grab that nigga. That nigga got the welding on me and shit. But I held my own, though. You feel me? My daddy said, you know what, son? It's your first fight, man. You look good. <laughs> I said I ain't never heard a nigga lie to me that fast my life. That's what I thought being a comedian. I, you know what? This nigga's hilarious. I'm thinking my ass beat and told me I had a good fight. I said, ain't no motherfucking way. Bro. Oh my god. All right, bro. Tell tell everybody where they can follow you at, bro. Bro, everybody, please follow me at Sharon S H U R O N 7 Eleven. 
Jackson. I will be posting hella content during this summer. I just been, I have had a lot of things going on in my life, you know, so. <laughs> I'm going right. to get back to making content, man. Yes, sir. Y'all man, fall. Hopefully I can get on your shit one day. Hey, yeah. you got to come up here. You already know. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to come up there and, and fuck with y'all and, you know, kick y'all little studio down to something. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I can't do that. Slide, slide. All right, bro. Appreciate you. All right, my brother. All right, bro. Peace. Yeah. All right, bro. Hello? What's the deal? Oh, shit. What's the word? How What's the word? Why are you acting surprised? Like, we didn't call you on Instagram. Because I wasn't expecting a call or, or not. Because shit, I texted shit like 20 minutes ago. I know, but the surprise lasted that long. That's like... The, I'm you, high, bro. And I was... we. I'm with my girl right now. We was on some other shit. <laughs> okay, all right. Can she hear us? Yes, I got it on speaker. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we calling everybody back that said they would cheat on their girl. So we want to <laughs> ask you your answer. This nigga lying. He lying. <laughs> He just said some bullshit. She ain't even hear you. Fuck that. Skip the pat. Get off the bullshit. <laughs> hey, where the mic at, man? All right. Let Mike ask the question. All right, go ahead, Mike. <laughs> I don't even know the question. Uh, I think the the vent. The vent. Oh, uh, what do you got a vent about? What the fuck? Did... Oh, fucking school lockdowns. That shit got to end. Why? Because it's not helping nobody. It don't. It don't say hey, if some motherfucker come shoot up your school. What is putting us on lockdown going to do? It's all fun and games until you pick your fucking room. Like, it should be an announcement that say, run for your life. <laughs> the person, <laughs> the person <laughs> hear that shit, too. <laughs> like, I think it'll I be the lockdown. Shit, I, th- listen, I, I know think you it- on the whole other side of the school. What yeah, the yeah. fuck I look like waiting in my room for him to come over Yeah, here? but they lo- it, give, it gives another barrier because you, obviously you lock the doors and then you put items in front of the door. So it gives another barrier for the, the person that's... Okay, listen. These, you shoot the door, he gonna push that bitch Bro, this isn't... He's, 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 listen, like listen, that. listen, bro, bro, bro listen. Listen, listen. You're thinking... So the, what you're thinking is... You, you're thinking from like a, a just you, a selfish standpoint because... The lockdown is to avoid any deaths, like, whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So the lockdown wants everybody to barrier themselves in. If, until, if he until, comes in shooting, there's already casualties. He didn't come in shooting. I know, but there's a the, chance. Yes, to save a, more people. Yes, but there's a small chance nobody dies, hopefully, in a lockdown. But guaranteed, you're making it easier for the person if everybody runs because somebody's going to run into him. Me and my people going to get out of there just in time. That's why I understand that, but it's to, it's for everybody to get out. More people going to get out with the now. Listen, as like you who going to be a superhero in a situation? Like I understand this kid, but motherfucker is shooting. I'm hey, hey, thinking. hey, just cuz you yelling don't make you not <laughs> dumb, you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga got dumber and started yelling. Said, no, no, nigga. Like, <laughs> but I'm saying like Ain't no superhero. You want to be Superman in these situations. You got to, it's reality. Run. All right. I got another, I got one more question. Can you put it on? But it's, can- but it's, but it's, but it's another thing is I went to school in a dumbass little school district. So like, even like on a regular lockdown, they didn't mean shit because they would just lock the door, shut the blinds. And then motherfucker keep teaching. They didn't even stop teaching. They just kept it going with the blinds shut. Like what the fuck are we protected? All right, I got a question for you. <laughs> What's the question? All right, can you can your girl hear us? Yeah, she can hear us. All right, nigga, Catherine, bro. <clears throat> Would you rather send your girl to jail for one year or get three million dollars right now? They doing twelve months for sure. They. I'm hold. How many girlfriends Are you, you got? What is that? It's a he said I'm they. Three million wait, 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 wait. Why you say they? It's a bay. No, he said they doing 12 he months. Said he got, I no. said bay. Pat, shut the fuck up. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so you said what? She doing, she, yeah, she definitely doing it. Tw- we just been watching 60 Days In and shit. So I feel like. Which one? Handle- the girl with you or the other one? <laughs> you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Nah, but 12 months ain't shit. She gonna knock that out. She gonna get up. She gonna come home to a millionaire. Why stay with me now? You don't think you're gonna blow that th- a three million in, uh, in a year? Hell no. Nah. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try to stay as normal as I can. You feel me? Try to go to work, act cool for a couple months, but I ain't gonna stay here. I'm moving. 
Don't leave my dumb ass into No, I'm, you're a promissory <laughs> good. You're going to come home to a millionaire. Don't, don't trip. Don't let these niggas turn us. <laughs> hey, she's she, she not going to come out the same person. She's going to be tough as hell when she come out. <laughs> All right, what about, hey. what about two years? Do the money increase? Is six it three, million. Is yeah, yeah, two Double. years, six million. Every, two. Hey, every year you get three more million. How many, how many years are you sending her? I mean, after the first year, it's up to her whether she want to come home or not. <laughs> She don't get a choice I'm, in this. Sorry. It's only I mean, if, if I'm rich as hell, she probably living like a queen in that motherfucker. So, I mean, how bad is it for 12 more months? If I'm, if you, you feel me, I'm a little bit richer. Like now I really ain't got to do shit. So two, okay. So it's about two years, right? In, in prison. She's going to praise, right? So two, that's six, that's six, six million. million yes. Two years. Yep. Bust it. Okay. Like, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Are you staying single for two years? Yeah, I'm cooling. <laughs> Three million. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, man. I'm going to work. I'm staying in the house. <laughs> I'm, waiting, I'm just waiting. I'm going sweet. to work. You got three million. Oh, no, no six million. You got why six. I'm, why I'm rich? So you can't really. You no. Can't what if they give you? So, what so, if they give you the money up front? Like there's the, not. There's no payments. You get six million a day. You agree to it. a contract. I'm good. I'm handled. <laughs> I'm waiting on her <laughs> for two years. Get off. I'm trying to make it deeper than it is. Bro. I'm a rich, I'm a rich single it's a lot of rich single people in the world. Yeah, but those single people are still having like intercourse with other people. You worried about the wrong shit. I'm holding my mind down. Hey, we'll call you back next week. Ask the same question, buddy. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I said, can, can she ask? Can she answer the question? You want to ask her the same question? That's yeah. what I just said, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch your motherfucking... <laughs> Go crazy. The nigga repeated my question and shit. <laughs> what? Ask the question, Goofy. Is she on the fucking phone, Goofy? Yeah, I'm right here. It's on speaker. God damn. <laughs> Let her speak for herself. Damn. She independent. God damn. <laughs> Controlling ass nigga, man. You need to lead that yeah. nigga for real. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just play Stay together, stay together. But, um, yeah. okay, oh, go ahead, Mike. Oh, well, I forgot the question. How many years? Oh, okay. yeah, go ahead. So how many years would you send your significant other to jail for or to prison if it was $3 million per year? At least a couple years. I feel like you could do a couple years. At least years. a couple. Damn, I, I gave you the benefit of one. <laughs> you could do like two or three. I, years. I made your other ones optional. Like you we we're gonna be up when you get out. So I'm just thinking of the future. <laughs> so I just I couple. just find it really hard to think that everybody's gonna be together while I, while one person. Okay, You're giving so so so, so, so when you get this so when you get this so I'm just saying hold on when you when you get the six million right you said a couple years when you get this six million up front and he and prison and he can't enjoy none of the money, what you gonna be doing? Shit, investing it. <laughs> Saving it. Yeah, sound what? like investing in other niggas. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Get rid of her. <laughs> Get her gone. You just heard it. She said investing in other niggas. I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. Right. That nigga Peter. Nah, no. he ain't there. Badass. Well, no, no, you can't That's say that. crazy. Why are you doing that, bro? No, I just want to. I just want to say what up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Y'all both goofy as hell. They both laughing at that shit. They, said, they got the same laugh. <laughs> we, he said we got the same laugh. He figured this out. I'm fat too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you funny as hell. He said he's fat too. You know? All right, nigga. <laughs> oh shit! I gotta hang up. <laughs> I'm saying I'm not. I, I was just about to say, man, that fat ass nigga. Nah, all right, bro. Hey, no, hey, hey y'all shit hard though. I, I popped on it. Like Pause. <laughs> oh my hey, god. Get off that. Get off that. Get off that. <laughs> I ain't know I nothing. Podcast man. I started watching like episode forty. Watched all that shit back. Patreon. Been on this shit for like two weeks. Bro, hey, oh shit! You see, you gotta leave with that shit, bro. Shout out to the Patreon listeners, man. I thought only Patreoners was the niggas that y'all called. I thought y'all knew. No, no, no. We call everybody, bro. Some people don't even follow us, I feel like. Uh, I know. They'd be like, what's y'all names? Because <laughs> it'd be like callers only, and I'd be like, oh, shit, you got to be a Patreon member. No, I just mean somebody ready to 
call. Maybe we should. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you said that yeah. because maybe it's, I have to be more clear. No, no, no. I'm glad you said that because there's more dumb niggas like you that like. <laughs> Cause we got it's more niggas that think like you than me. You are right. We gotta explain that more. So you don't. Hey, only... I got a question for Mike though, for real. Cause I, hey, on your unfinished legacy shit, it's a crew neck. Is that bitch black and red or black and orange? Cause I ain't want to order it and it came back orange. It's a crew neck. It black, definitely has to be black, black and red. red yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, uh, unfinished legacy got an Instagram, nigga. Hey, he hung up on me. <laughs> That's the only reason that nigga called. <laughs> nigga, inbox the uh, page. I saw a real... Oh, the biggest news we didn't even get into was the Drake, Day Cole thing. Ah, we <laughs> talked about it a little bit on Patreon? No, we just... Oh, uh, we talked about with a caller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Subscribe to Patreon. Yeah. Um, but J. Cole came out and apologized. Yeah. And people... I, I, I saw academics react to it and people and he was very passionate about he <laughs> he, he's, he don't want to go to war <laughs> you know, something like that yeah and <clears throat> to me it's interesting when somebody of that stature says like that's not really me I kind of jumped out of character because we all have jumped out of character did something out of character before mm -hmm. and kind of regretting it it's just that I thought it, maybe I wouldn't have apologized in that way yeah um but I thought that he was just being honest with himself. I think the beef, especially Kendrick and J. Cole, mm -hmm. it was never, it was never gonna go there like any of like the Drake and all that. It was never gonna go there. It wasn't that serious. They still respected each other at some level, and it was more competitive. Like, it, I just feel like people always say if there's somebody's like a, he has to prove himself. Like he prove himself through records. It doesn't have to be a beef. That's not rap to me all know, the time. But, but listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I, I don't think people understand why. There's such an outrage about it, right? Because the people that grew up off hip hop, mm -hmm. right? Hip hop was made off of beef. Some of the greatest songs are diss songs. Yeah. Right? It's because there's passion in it. Um, you got back to back, no Vaseline, hit them up. Like, there's like all these great all time no diss Vaseline's records. Like, no Vaseline is a crazy title name, though. But go ahead. Shout out to Ice Cube. Yep. Um, all, the, all these crazy, they got this is, but what it does is like it brings people happiness. One, most of the people that are outraged are content creators. Yeah. Like I saw like Mal from Rory and Mal. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw. Why are you calling Mal? Mal. Mal, my bad, yeah. my bad. <laughs> Rory and Mal, no disrespect. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, what's up? No, no. <laughs> playing. shout out to Ball. But Rory and Maul, and he was like on it, and he's like kind of pissed off. But I feel like it drives engagement mm. for content creators. And then other people that are fans of hip hop, they're missing out on their, their some of them are Cole fans, and they're missing out on their favorite artists getting a rap with like anger and like to prove that he's the best. Because it's, if you're a Cole fan, most Cole fans kind of really, they respect Kendrick, mm -hmm. but they always say he's not better than Cole. Yeah. They respect Drake. They like some Drake songs. But some people would be like, Cole better. Like, they want to let you know. So it's like, those people are disappointed. You got the, the content creators that are disappointed because they don't get content. And then you got the people that won't, people love to see the internet go up in mm -hmm. flames. I do. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Like, you like when something not, like, negative happens. Like, hopefully it's not a death, but you just hope, like, Something like positive that didn't harm anybody, and you get to go see all these like funny jokes. Cause jokes come out, mm. so you got all those people disappointed. And I think it's genius by J Cole. Yeah, because I think this is gonna look, it look terrible now. It's gonna look real good over time. Yeah, and I think because J Cole also knows he was saying some shit on the record that he didn't really feel is true. Yeah, he like, didn't mean you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like if 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 you don't really feel like if you don't want to really stand on that, that you don't have to stand on it. People, yeah. I, I just I don't get the the whole. It's rap, so the beef is comes with rap. I'm like, it doesn't have to always. It, it, it reminds me of, like, the old heads saying, like, these NBA players are too friendly with each other right now. Yeah. Like, yeah, social media brings a lot of people closer. And, mm -hmm. like, you understand, like, I see a picture of you in New York or you had a uh, working out. So, like, oh, I like to work out, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, yeah. there's more things like, oh, this dude, the way he dresses, this and that. They, people they, didn't have that back then. People don't realize they already <coughs> had, they've already had back and forth. Yeah. Like, Jake Cole and Kendrick are... Good friends, but they're back and forth is saying, I'm the best rapper alive. Yeah. When J. Cole hears Kendrick say, I'm the best rapper alive, he takes that personally and tries to come out with a better track and also might drop, like, I'm not the one. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not the two. I'm the one. Or some shit. You know, he'll slip a bar in yeah. there and just be like, 
Hey, I heard you say you're the greatest of all time right now. No, I am. Yeah. And obviously that's a shot at you because we're both at the top of the game. We can compete in other ways without one of us lying because everything I say about you is going to be a lie. And Kendrick never said anything about J. Cole like that was crazy. He didn't even say anything about Drake that was crazy. Yeah. He, he made a pun about Drake's album and saying like, your album, he didn't say not, no. Yeah. J. Cole's music wasn't good. Yeah. He didn't you know, say that any of them couldn't rap or anything. He said, either. I rap better, better than, than you. you. Yeah. That's what he said. And then J. Cole came out and said, see your past albums. So J. Cole would probably feel like he overreacted. Yeah, to exactly. And Kendrick kind of was just like, hey, he probably was kind of taken back by it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's when, when you're at that point, right? There's nothing more you can really say, but I'm better than you. Or you're be- or I'm better than you. You know that's that's the best. That's the like the the one thing you can say because you both can't discredit each other's work because you, both of you guys are mega stars. You guys are top two, right? Top yeah. three, right? So there's nothing you really can say to each other unless you get personal. And if it's not really personal in real life, people want people to fake beef, like fake me being mad at you. It's just like if there's another podcast talking about us and be like, you know, just saying random shit about yeah. them, like oh I I fucked your girl this and that, like none of those things are, are true, right? Yeah. So it's like, what what can I really say to somebody I don't know like that? I also think the if it was if it was another artist, yeah. I don't think J Cole would have like took the song down. The real reason I think he took the song down is because how Kendrick Lamar's music relates so much to the black community. Yeah. Like it's literally <laughs> some of his like his antics and like what he does, his art form is like. To uplift black people. Yeah. And you just said it was garbage. And your content is sort of the same way. So, to uplift black people. It's just like... I got a question because I heard somebody say this. They were saying that if people had a really good reaction to J. Cole's diss, right? And like people are hyping it up, right? That do you think he would have took it down? Or would it have the same sentiment of an apology? I think I think he's a genuine dude. I feel like he would have took it down either way. No, would you, would you think he would apologize if like people were like hyping up like this is the best diss track ever? I think he would have took it down quicker. Yeah. Okay. That's how I feel like that's that's cold. You, I yeah. mean, you say he hasn't really shown us anything different. You say it's somebody like I don't know another artist that's like we know loves the internet. Yeah. Then I would say no, but J Cole's never been in love with the internet. He mm. doesn't. Shit, I never seen him even make a fucking status anywhere. Yeah, I don't even know if he got an Instagram. <laughs> yeah, do he? Yeah, he do. I think so. I know he ain't got no Twitter. Like he doesn't. He doesn't tweet. Yeah, a he doesn't. Lot. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't really talk. participate in. Like it's kind of like Drake the same way, Kendrick the same way. None mm-hmm. of them are on the internet. Yeah, some rappers are on the internet, like doing stuff every day to try to get engagement. So would I believe it from them? Hell no. Yeah. But from one of these people that could just like. They, they're going to have what they have regardless if the song is hot or not. They didn't change J. Cole's career if that was a best It's just season. weird sometimes seeing how passionate people are about the beef. I mean, look at people with teams. Yeah. It's just weird, but passionate about J. Like the listener call it on Patreon. He was saying um, he feels like let down. I was like, let down? Like, how does this, like, how does J. Cole not say an apology? You're putting more pressure on J. Cole than you're doing your yeah. dad. You ain't seen your dad in two years. You talking about J. Cole let you down? No, your senior let you down. Now do you the same think, name, nigga. Now do you think that Drake needs to respond to anything? I think this is more of, I think Kendrick actually attacks Drake's music. I feel like there's been some attacks on Drake, like whether you think he's he was ghostwriting or anything. I, th- I feel like there's been a lot of attacks from a lot yeah. of people in the industry. So I feel like Drake has a right to do that. Nobody's mm-hmm. ever attacked Cole's music, and especially somebody like Kendrick never mm-hmm. attacked it. But I feel like Kendrick has stone shots at Drake over the I past. Think, I think Drake will respond in like an actual music when he drops or something. And I think yeah. my, my thoughts already, I already kind of know the bars are going to be like, it's going to be something to like that leads to like, I'm not as nice as Cole, you know, like Cole's a good dude and he gonna he'll apologize. And then, but this is how I feel. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think he'll bring up Cole, like not him not being as nice as Cole. So I'm going to take, I'm going to do it for, you know, that yeah. type of shit. I think Drake, Drake is, uh, Drake is really good at hitting bars. Mm. Like he'll never come out and say Kendrick is too, obviously. Yeah. But, um, they're, they're really good at hitting bars. That's why I feel like J Cole, J Cole's more of like a, a rapper's rapper, like New York style. Mm. Like I'm coming direct at you. Your last three projects wasn't something like that. Drake will, make a whole song out of it. So it's just like a, it's like a different feeling. Yeah. I feel like he has to take a little bit more time. 
Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, he has time. He's got tour. He just got off tour too. So J Cole see. raps like he talks. Uh-huh. Like it's like every. Obviously, he's still got. He's bar heavy. He got some bars, but he still, in a sense, is gonna like. Mm. Drake is like he's gonna make a whole sound around it. So he gotta have. You know, he might have somebody sing on your diss track. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about uh, Drake is definitely the ability to make your diss into a club a song. song, which is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because uh-huh. you get a lot of Dirk. Dirk <laughs> is real good at that too. Because the thing, even when Drake apologized to the to Meek and stuff like that, um, it's the song is still back to back. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like it's still there. Like you can't. He said you'll never perform it again. That's cool. But like that song is still a hit. Yes, but. You know it hurts yeah. the most for an artist because it lasts forever. Is you got regular, you got these regular people that don't know me, dissing me. Yeah, that's why. That's why Dirk music was always like I never really. I was one of those dudes that like never really said the name. Yeah, I'm not about to walk around and say I'm smoking on Tuka. Yeah, when Tuka was a real person, mm-hmm. like these kids, crazy, bro. Like y'all crazy. Y'all know you talk about a real person. You can some still, people didn't you know still that. Like though. his music, you can still like his music and skip that part, like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, some people didn't know it was yeah, real. Yeah, because it was like, and that's, but that also leads to people just saying slang that don't even understand yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I like, mean, people, there, say, like, people that, say gang all the time. Yeah. I like, fuck with you, gang. And it's yeah. like, we not in the same gang. <laughs> Neither one of us in the gang. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, even like the song, uh, the Who I Smoke song. Yeah. Like, it's like. But that, but, but that's, that's why, that's why those disses like hurt much more because you don't know the history of like who they, what if the people that they going against don't rap yeah, or they don't have a good rapper and they can't. That's usually, and it's usually the most popular ones that are going to like, they're already popular with the fans. Like the, uh, the New York dudes, the 41 crew, right? They had like the naughty bop, right? But when they were doing the the dance, they had like white people doing the dance. They had, they don't know nothing about the, the backstory to, the dance and stuff like yeah. that. So it's just like they use their popularity to make other kids that, you know, that don't know anything about it yeah. or anything about the beef do like that dance or sing the song and stuff like that. And yeah. it makes it worse. Think or, about, worse think for about you. Rico. Which one was Rico? Soldier Boy got a song called Whoop Rico. And there was an actual dude named Rico. And they made a whole dance. Like, Whoop Rico and Whoop this nigga. Whoop Rico. And they made a whole dance. Did Rico, Rico, Rico didn't pass away? Mm-mm, they just beat his ass. Oh, that's funny, man. <laughs> that's crazy. Huh? I dance. Yeah, too? there's no depth to it, and it's just like, and it's like an actual like thing. Is, uh, that's, I'm cool with that. Cause they beat your ass, yeah. and then they made a dance that people still. Drewski just did. You remember when Drewski was yeah. doing? Oh, that was the Rico. That was the Rico. That was oh. in the Rico. What Rico? Damn. Was that? What was, I thought that was the Bird Walk for a second. No, nah, I mean it was hitting all type of dance. Why me hit that? They, bird? they was doing Whoop Rico in there. Yeah, and it's called Whoop Rico. <laughs> The, the the dance it's called <laughs> got a dance named after me nigga it's war forever bro yeah it's up forever <laughs> facts a dance is so crazy bro I, I feel like I don't know do you think you could actually be involved in actual internet beef nah you don't think so I like it'll be hard for me it, I, I'm I'm like I'm realistic though. yeah like if we gonna fight like I'm yeah. like like let's get it over with like if you gonna take it to a level that it's it's different type of levels yeah. than what you take it. Like, I kill you, I kill you. Okay, I kill your grandma. I'm like, okay, you taking a little bit too far, yeah. my nigga. Like, and it's like it's, it's, it's at that point where you like, it's almost at that point too. Like, none of us are gonna do anything to each other. That's not true, but no, no, not not know. not doing each other, each other, but none of us know each other. Correct. So there's nothing really I can say unless I see you in uh, person. Bro, the funniest shit happened. And my man, my 2K, I got a, like a 2K team that yeah. I play with. They gonna laugh so hard at this shit. Cause we was talking about like the concept of people that are tougher with people that they know are far away. Yeah. So we so this one dude was like spazzing out. You could tell he had like that's what happens when you in 2K parties. Somebody feel like they ain't getting the ball enough. It's like real sports. Like mm-hmm. somebody catching an attitude and they keep saying something and antagonizing other people. Yeah. And it was funny because this person was like, and man, like just be like, hey bro, pass that. Mm-hmm. Just like y'all ain't passed me the ball earlier. Yeah. You know, people ignoring it yeah. and shit like that. But you could tell he was being tougher with other people, but not other people. And it was just like <laughs> Oh, you being tougher with the nigga that live in Texas, not yeah. the nigga that live in California. Yeah. Because y'all both live in Cali. Uh-huh. He has slept the shit out you. Yeah. Like, it was just like, that might not have been a situation, but it was just funny, like, that concept. And it's just like, 
That shit funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> because I see that all the time. Like, mm. I see two people beefing on the air name. Like, you just see your little cousin talking crazy. Like, I'll kill you, nigga. Yeah. But you just saw him get hold the other day by somebody in this class. <laughs> what about the nigga that took your lunch, yeah. you know, nigga? <laughs> nigga said, boy, people tough as hell over the internet. I had to learn that because I used to be on the internet reading shit. I used to be seventh, eighth grade. Like, bruh. I used to go to my dad and be like, dad, he said he'd kill him, bro. Yeah. And my dad be like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> they not like that. <laughs> Yeah, they live. My dad be like, he live here, he live here. They yeah. wanted to do something, they would have been did it. The and thing, then I go look at these people and be like, wait, you did say you would be his ass, and you say you'll be his ass, and we all in the cafeteria, and ain't no ass being beaten. Yeah. You niggas are soft. Yeah. Right? The thing too, I started noticing that, especially as like the podcast and stuff took off, and like the boxing stuff It's just like, I get DMs, random ones, and people talking shit sometimes, right? And I'm like, and I respond to one of them, like, like you know. If somebody wanted to spar me, right? I'm like, all right, bet, let's come. Or if they think they beat me up. I'm like, come to the gym, come to the gym, and let's spar. And then the whole tone changes once once you respond to them. It's like, uh, oh no, bro, I was just coming from like a more place. Like, I try, I want to try and get some work in. Yeah, uh, I fuck with y'all, what y'all got going on. Yeah, but dope is like, I come down to spar, and then we can hop on the podcast and talk about some shit too. I'm like, bro, no. <laughs> like come on now it's like you just wanted attention <laughs> yeah so I, that's why I always know I, people I, just want attention I would just respect you more if you like yeah you know just stick, stick to your guns I, I, I always I, obviously I would still respond the yeah. same exact way but I got much more respect for you if you like actually hate me and you talking that shit yeah like, <clears throat> or if somebody like if I see you talking shit be like damn he like Pat need to shut the fuck up if he don't know what he talking about yeah. so I look at the comment like damn this must be like, this nigga must hate me. Yeah. Then I look, and this nigga follow me. Yeah. It's like, oh, like, this yeah. nigga wants some attention. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. It's it's, it's, it's an interesting concept. That, that's so weird because I never, obviously, I wasn't, I didn't always have a podcast. Yeah. Just two years ago, you know, I was probably sitting at 1,700 followers on IG. My shit was private. Like, nobody bothered me. Like, <laughs> leave me alone. I don't yeah. even post on social media. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, I got to post and shit. Like, what type of shit is this? <laughs> Why I got to do this shit? I got to respond to a nigga that's telling me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he know my name, and yeah. I don't know this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> got a fucking he cartoon knows. character as his fucking profile picture. Yeah. He just told me to shut the fuck up. It's funny, too, It's like because, like, they know... Like, especially our listeners, they know a little bit more about us that we, a lot more about us that we know about them, yeah. right, individually. And, and it'll always be like that. Even yeah. if I knew you in person, yeah. still be the same way, fuck, nigga. <laughs> so it's just funny sometimes, that they, almost like they have a one-up it sometimes. Yeah, they do be having one-up, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, Mike, you were wrong as fuck about that. I'd be like, man. Nah. That's why I always be like, <laughs> I pray to God, like, this dude, I rarely get to respond to... Yeah. Somebody corrected me on like the ID identification. Be like, he, he still to- no. The nigga was still wrong. I don't give a fuck about that. The nigga still said ID. ID still identification. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what ID stands for. Yeah, still. But <laughs> anyway, so like, dude, dude said that he got like two hundred likes. Now respond like, shut your big head ass up because yeah. that's all I had. Yeah. Because that's all I got. See, he was private. Yeah. And his head was big. Like yeah. that's all I saw. His shit took up the whole fucking circle though. <laughs> that nigga head was big as yeah. fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I, at first I got scared because when I first sent it. I was like, yeah, big head ass nigga. And I was like, oh shit, let me make sure that shit not, like, not a disease or something. Yeah. Cause that, that nigga shit. Uh, <laughs> Pause, but that nigga shit was whoa. big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, that's been a good podcast. Uh, merch sold out. Um, hit up Gene if you guys want us to restock. Um, appreciate everybody that bought the merch and everybody that didn't. You guys move too slow. So we're going to do, we're probably going to do a restock. I'm not trying to hype it up or anything, but we're going to do like a super limited restock at some point, right? Maybe in two, three weeks. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. Make sure you guys follow us on all platforms and continue hey, to. go follow Gene too. Yeah, go follow Gene. Gene's yeah. our, it's like our unofficial manager. He helped, he helped a lot with a lot of things. So definitely. Man, go follow, go give yeah. Gene some love. He just, he putting out new music, he making new music every his, day. His, his info is going to be in the, in the bio as well. Yeah. All right. Real nigga. Peace. Unlike some of you niggas. <laughs>